watching your videos for the last few weeks on the YouTube channel. There is some really great stuff on there, but it, it's not just stunts for the sake of stunts anymore. Some of your stunts have a message too, like the, specifically the one I'm thinking of is when you put the sign on, on right. the SeaWorld uh, sign, highway sign. Right, you know, and I think that I, I don't really want to get uh, like to a point where I, you know, I'm, I'm preachy with what I do, but the the Sea World stunt, um, it, it it made sense to me. Uh, yeah, I do feel pretty strongly about animal rights, um, and uh, I also like to um, try and shake things up. Where in my various tour destinations, you know, I'm always looking to kind of make some news and get in trouble. So I was down there, and my buddy I travel with saying, man, like, what should I do here for, for a video, you know? He said, dude, you should have you swore. He swore, and I won't do that on the radio. <laughs> they said, you should have with SeaWorld, <laughs> you know? I thought, man, that's a great idea. What am I going to do? I knew better than to go and, and really tamper with SeaWorld property. Right. Um, but I wanted to really, you know, like, do something. And uh, we were driving down the highway, and I saw a big highway sign that uh, it, that to notify you that SeaWorld Drive was, you know, the exit was coming up in two miles. And I just thought, wow, like uh, that place they named a road after it, you know, it's got some road. So um, I, we got out of the car, and, and um, I measured with a tape measure the. Um, the word drive on that sign, which is like pretty big. I went to a, a copy center and, and uh, printed out a huge big green, green piece of paper that read sucks, the same size, and, and, uh, and a huge uh, involved comedy of errors, uh, which really, I mean, I mean like, like a dramatic comedy of errors. It took me five different trips to that sign, five different attempts to actually get up on the thing. Um, and uh, I landed on my head twice, um, you know, dangling upside down and falling from beneath the sign itself. Um, but, I, but I managed to get up there, and when I was done with it, it didn't read SeaWorld Drive, it read SeaWorld Sucks. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, it was great, you know, and, and it's not the first thing that, uh, you know, this is like coming in a, in a pretty major series of, of things that I've done, which would, which are Probably, and I'm saying this like possibly illegal. <laughs> you know, um, that, I mean, certainly, probably actionable. You know, by some interpretation of the law for right. criminal charges. <laughs> right. um, you know, where like you could say that maybe climbing up the the head in Calgary. You right. know, I, I expected that that might get me arrested. Um, Doing the uh, the flip off of the bridge in San Antonio, um, which which uh, sparked a huge investigation. Now, what they were investigating, I'm not sure because I actually posted the video. Right. I, I shared the video yeah. with the media. The evidence so is right the, there. So there wasn't much to investigate, but but the, they were investigating me in San Antonio, Texas, for what they called deadly conduct for uh, performing a, a gainer flip off of a bridge into just four feet of water at their big uh, uh, Riverwalk uh, tourist attraction. That, that investigation didn't wind up going anywhere. And now, with the, the SeaWorld stunt in San Diego, there, uh, there's yet another investigation now. Um, and again, <laughs> not much to investigate. I post, posted a whole video of, right. of the, the incident. Um, but there was a, a report, uh, an article came out with a, a statement from the California Transit Authority saying that the adhesive on the tape that I used to tape this piece of paper to the sign uh, removed the reflective properties of the sign itself, forcing them to um, replace the entire sign at a cost of over $7,000. Which I believe would put that, if it were to be interpreted as a crime, into the felony category right. of crime. <laughs> and uh, you know, for me, that was actually really pretty exciting news because um, you know, of course, I, I did this for publicity. You know, acting yeah. as a shameless media whore. 
you know, like just a, 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 a <laughs> At the time, I'm an attention whore at my core, and uh, you know, here I thought I can get some attention for myself and actually maybe benefit a, a cause at the same time, um, and and I was really just almost just hoping that they would actually charge me with a crime there, just so that I could officially say, point out that they're telling us it cost California taxpayers over $7,000 to remove a piece of tape. Yeah. yeah. No wonder the state is completely broke. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then I would add that uh, the only thing I find more offensive than that price tag is the notion that yet another sign now exists that says SeaWorld on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and charge me because SeaWorld sucks. <laughs> and, and I think that they that they got the sense in, in whatever investigation they are conducting that uh, to charge me with that uh, whatever crime they would want to call it um, would be a, a pretty embarrassing thing for uh, for the state of California, the California Highway Patrol. And not only would it be embarrassing to them, but it would also bring so much more attention. It would just breathe so much life and, uh, and, and you know, do such wonderful things for um, Shamu. <laughs> 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 you know, like, uh, it, would, it would really, they, they, I mean, so, I, I'm just happy either way. I mean, I created kind of a win-win situation for myself because whether... Uh, you know, if I don't get charged, then I don't have to go to court. I don't have to hire lawyers. Not you know, and it's still like you know, like uh, I think it was pretty effective in in helping the cause, and and uh, I think that it, it it had a nice little run of attention that I was looking for. And if they do charge me, then it just it becomes larger than life, and and uh, it, so it's great. I'm happy either way. Your lawyers must love you, man. Well, um, number one I think so, I think so. Um, and, and I mean, I, I just have a, a personal friend who happens to be a criminal attorney. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I, 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 did, um, I did my, uh, my homework on this one. Um, and I really consulted with a lot of people to um, kind of get a sense of what might happen. Um, yeah, because it can, it's now I'm in therapy, too, right. you know? I'm living this crazy, fragmented, like, double, triple life, you know? Like... Where like I'm I'm this this I mean, I'm clean and sober now which is fine it's great it's been six and a half years so I've kind of found my voice and and uh, you know I'm not really any different clean and sober at all I'm still a complete maniac and my sense of humor is no different than it ever was um, but at the same time it's like here like you know I, I treat my body like a piece of garbage you know throwing it off of the roofs inside of trash cans you know in order to like help. The Food and Drug Administration, which is funny, um, but yeah, like I, I care about my health, and I, I, you know, hurt myself for a living, and and uh, yeah, you know, and, and I don't know, like I'm trying to get arrested, and you know, but I'm but I'm going to therapy to try and be like, you know, and so I showed up in my therapy group, and I brought this SeaWorld thing, and and, and the the guy said, okay, well, we owe it to you. Um, as you, you know, your friends, to ask you, uh, what do you think is the worst possible case scenario, you know, to come out of you making this video public? You know, what is the worst situation that you could be in right. as a result of this? And are you ready at this point in your life to put yourself in that situation? And I thought, like, Oh man, why you gotta ask me like that, dude? <laughs> no, <laughs> you no. Know? And so I, uh, so so I actually delayed um, my uh, my launch, my my uh, my big thing, you know, by one extra day to consult with um, a sort of a team of experts in in the various fields that I felt I could be affected. And um, overall, man, I think I planned it out pretty well, you know. I didn't lay a finger on any SeaWorld property. Was was Blackfish? And there's not there's not a lot of content. Again, sorry for interrupting. That's okay. There's not a lot of content there and just saying SeaWorld sucks. You know? Yeah, it's, you gotta go a, a little deeper than that. It, it's it, it's my opinion. 
And um, I think SeaWorld sucks. And, uh, <clears throat> and and I'm not really ever saying more than that. Right. There's not much there. SeaWorld sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you still do the stunts um, with no real uh, angle to them, just sort of stunts. Sure, yeah. Um, I, I want to mention a couple that made me gag physically. Um, <laughs> watching Jackass 3D last night. I haven't seen it until yesterday. Drinking Preston's sweat. I should say trying to drink it. I don't know that I ever. I, I, I thought that that would be that that would have gotten me in trouble with uh, our director. I assumed that it would in any case because here there was so much work. You know, they painted the whole room red and like uh, they shut down the thing and you know here like the it was a pretty involved shoot. Um, by the time we collected that whole cup of sweat, there's only one shot at it, you know, one shot. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's only one one uh, chance to do that. And when the time came and I tilted back the cup of sweat, uh, I don't even know that I managed to pour any of it into my mouth even. I think that the vomit was actually coming out of me before any of the sweat even went in. And I remember thinking like, I went, went to do it, you know, I puked, and thought, oh no, like all that work, all that preparation, you know, uh, like uh, the, the one shot, and I blew it because I, I didn't actually succeed in drinking anything. I vomited first. <laughs> you know, I took the vomit jumped the gun. Yeah. And, uh, and I thought that I would just be in trouble, that I would be in the doghouse for the day. Um, in trouble for not drinking a large man's sweat. <laughs> right, but, but nobody cared. It's yeah. funny. You know, and, and I, I think that that's um, that that's uh, a, 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 I'm proud that that I have that level of uh, of professionalism, professionalism, of de dedication, you know, commitment. That that I would be disappointed in myself for not doing doing a good enough job of drinking sweat, you know. You take this all very seriously. I do, man. man I do, and and I feel like we should like talk about. Um, about the comedy that I'm here to do as yeah, well. Absolutely, you know, like, yeah, absolutely. Um, not, not that I, I mean, I, I'm, nothing's off limits for me, but, 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 you know, while I'm mentioning, you know, being like really uh, dedicated to my craft, um, I got to say that this, uh, you know, that this, this comedy has really, really been, uh, it's been a big deal for me, man. You know, the, the first time that I tried stand up was uh, now over eight years ago. And I had no intention of actually even trying it. Somebody had invited me to a comedy club in Los Angeles, and they said, <clears throat> hey, man, like, uh, can you come in? I'm doing this show. Uh, I'd love to have you come and get on stage and do a crazy stunt, you know? Uh, and I thought, oh, okay, you know, I mean, it sounded great to me, and I, I agreed to do it. Right. And I showed up, and when I walked into this comedy club, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just figured I'd wing it. And and when I walked in, I just looked at what was going on. I don't know that I'd ever really been inside a comedy club at that point. I mean, I'm sure I had, but I never paid much attention to it. And I looked around, and I just saw what was going on, and I thought, dude, there's just nothing crazier that I could even imagine doing on that stage than me getting up there and trying stand-up, you know? Can you hold that thought for two seconds? You bet. Awesome. Power 104, Clay.